Okay. Right. Here I'm in the local supermarket, but there are techniques to use and wherever you go in order to diminish the amount of plastic bags with you. The one that I think is most important is when you go into a convenience store and they automatically give you what they call generally a sack, which is not a sack, it's a plastic bag. So I always say no, I don't need a sack because most of the things you buy are already in a so-called sack, they're already packaged. So that's one way we can really reduce. And you, often I'll, I'll even explain to people that there's too much plastic and tr without being overbearing or about it. So that's in the, in the convenience stores. Now here, however, um, where you have open vegetables like this and other things that you can buy individuals, what, uh, what I do is I carry either my push cart or my, my basket that I'm using, uh, the store basket, and put the items individually in there, potatoes and, and carrots and things, and then later I can, um, and, and I avoid using the, uh, the, the rolls of plastic that um, most people automatically use, myself included, up until the time when I decided that there's just too many plastic bags. Here we're in the open vegetables department where you can select this, and most people will automatically take one of these things. Um, and put the individual um, vegetables, whatever they might be, one per bag, but not one item, one kind of vegetable per bag. Um, the checkout person can just put them on the weighing machine and weigh them and so on. So it's convenient, but you have to get rid of a little bit of convenience if you want to really preserve um, the environment. And I mean, it really is. Then I need a, um, I've got my list in my hand. I need a five pound bag of sugar. And I can't take that out of the bag of my bag. Coffee, Tony? Uh, coffee would be fine. Okay. Yeah.